What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Chris Buescher's 2018 Bush's Best Chevrolet Camaro Z01 for JTG Daughtry Racing. So any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. So this car was one that, um, first of all, this is honestly one of my favorite schemes of the year. But when I first saw this, I was like, when they, because they give, you know, the, uh, the little 2D pictures of the top and the, the profile of the car and I was like brown ew like it just looked bad and then I saw that this was the I think the only Chris Buescher car that's getting produced I take that back I think the Louisiana hot sauce one is getting made in 124 ARC but I was really kind of disappointed at the time because I was like you know I wanted the Cottonelle one but then this is the one that ran at Bristol actually it ran both times at Bristol this is one that ran during the spring as well and it ran last night as a recording of this video and I really like this car. It's actually more, it's bronze. It's not brown like I originally thought it was. So I'm really glad this is one that Lionel decided to do. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at this car. This is an air freight car that I was able to get at Bristol. In case you haven't figured that out yet. So on the front we have the Chevrolet Bowtie Z01. We got 37 and JTG Daughtry Racing. And on the hood, we have Bush's Best since 1908. Let's try to get this hood open. Camaro hoods don't like me. Oh, that one does. Wow. There's in the engine detail if you care to see it. And underneath the hood, we just have a Chevrolet bow tie. Nothing else. And on the window banner, of course, we have Monster Energy. We have 37 Bush beans. Roof flaps still open. Um, we got Busher. And uh, this is number 510. And on the deck lid, we have the whole slew of the Kroger mandated sponsors, which is Butch's Best, Healthy Choice, Energizer Crest, Scott, Clorox, Cheerios, Cheez Its, Max, uh, Hungry Jack, Sargento something, Jimmy Dean, Minute, Louisiana Hot Sauce, and Briars. Deck lid does not open. And we got Butch's Best on the back, Camaro Z01 and 37 with the Chevrolet bow tie and our little camera sticker. And on the left side of the car, we have uh, our random contingencies for this car, which I will talk about again in more detail in a second. We got Febreze on the back corner panel with Wix, RE, or uh, Racing Electronics. We got Zach, uh, Energizer, nothing on the seat post, Hidden Valley, and Louisiana Hot Sauce, nothing on the seat post. On the B post, we have Bush's Best, Sharon Williams, SCM, Miller, Freightliner, and... Sullivan uh, Paley or something like that. And we got Chris Busher on the name rail with the Texas flag. We got 37 in our very minimum contingencies right here. And let's take a look at the uh, right side of the car, which is the same. Just a very nice looking car. I think it's a solid paint scheme. And uh, let's take a look at, and there's the uh, detail under the car. Which again, this is both the air freight cars I got are pretty flawless i can't find any real flaws on both of them so i was really happy with that but anyways a few things go over this car before we look at the box i know you guys are so looking forward to seeing the box so a lot of you may not may notice that the sponsors on this car this car has basically been his primary i think he's ran this one more than the other uh, variations of their schemes and, uh, but every time he races, it has a different selection of sponsors. Sponsors on the core panel, I'm not really sure um, how they decide what they're going to put on there. I don't even know how they decide which diecast is going to get it. Which actually, I think in the renders, the 2D uh, drawings I was telling you about, I think it had Hungry Man, uh, Cress, Hungry, or Hungry Jack, uh, Bushes, I, I don't know. It, it wasn't the same that's on this one. This particular uh, selection of quarter panel sponsors, Bushwacker, Bushwacker Reviews did a review on this one about a week ago, um, and he said he couldn't find a picture of it. So I, I said, you know, what? I want to look. I feel like this one has ran this year, and I found it, and it is actually ran at Martinsville. But there are a few things that to note about that. At the Martinsville version, it actually have Kroger cl click list on the C post, and right here under the Bush's best. I thought it was kind of weird because, you know, usually if they, uh, if the car runs at a short track, they'll usually take the, uh, the side glass out like they did, but, um, this one has it in there. 
So I thought that was just kind of cool to point out just how much detail I pay, which is ridiculous. But anyways, let's take a quick look at the box, which I know you guys are been waiting for. We got a picture of Chris Busher. We do have a Chevy bow tie, which I think Chris Busher is pretty cool. He ran pretty good last night until he got in a little scuffle with Kyle Busch. So that was kind of disappointing, but uh, he was a driver I got an autograph from during the spring. Which was kind of cool. It was in a, my bronze gold pen. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. We've got Chris Busher, 37, Action Racing, JT Jotry. There's a render of the car. we got Bush's standard. Uh, Bush's best standard finish. Chris Busher, Lionel Racing, the official diecast of NASCAR. There's their proof that it's air freight. I had to pay five extra dollars for it, but that's okay. We've got 18 Action Collectibles. There's our features and whatnot that we're used to by now. And our production number, which is 529. What production number is this one? 510. So both <laughs> cars I got at the race are uh, some of the last they're made. So that's kind of cool. We got standard finish, 37. And then there is our line. There is our legal stuff and whatnot. Oh yeah, JT Daughtry right there. As you can see, this one, this box also didn't fare too well. But it's okay. It's okay. So, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I really like this car. You know, like I said, when I first saw it, I thought this thing was hideous because I just thought it was brown, but it's actually bronze, and it shines really. It looked really good under the lights last night. So, uh, it was also one I got pretty per close and personal with at the spring race. Not this specific quarter panel selection, either one of them. But basically the same car. And, uh, yeah, really, really cool car to have. I'm glad to have it. But, uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram at jpatdiecast underscore two. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And we will see you on the next one.